The largest ship ever to dock at Jacksport is here. One stork measures nearly four football fields, three and a half at least, floated down the Jacksville shipping channel. It is the result of a four year dredging project that cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Action News Jack's Robert Grant joins us live now. And Robert, this is just the first of many ships this size to call Jacksonville home. Yeah, Jack, John, a total of nine ships similar to the size of one stork, which you can see right here behind me. It's the ship with that magenta looking hull there, but those ships could be even larger. There's just one thing in the way. It's the power lines that you see nearby, but that's not going to be a problem for too much longer. I'm just waiting for it. it's going to be going to be awesome. Excitement the size of the ship itself. Hundreds lined areas along the St. John's River to watch one stork, the largest ship to ever call Jacksonville. It's the result of a $400 million dredging project. You know, I've been dealing with that dredge here where I launch my boats for the last three or four years, so it's kind of nice to see this ship come into town. It allows ships like this, which can carry about 17% more containers than before, up to 14,000 total, but something else is in the way of even larger ships. And as you saw, as the ship was transiting, it barely made it under the power lines. Last year, Jacksport finished the four year harbor deepening project. It brought the shipping channel's depth down to 47 feet. Next, the port is working with JEA to raise the power lines overhead from 175 to 205 feet. That project will create or protect 15,000 jobs, according to Jacksport. It would also allow ships that could then carry up to 15,000 containers. It's very important. Uh, it means a lot to this community. We're talking about jobs. We're talking about economic impact uh, for the region. An idea that most are on board with. Oh, I think it means uh, bigger ships are going to start coming. More money, more uh, commerce. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing. And one stork here will stay docked for at least another 24 hours while crews unload and then pack up the ship for its trip back overseas. Again, nine total ships similar to this size will now come into rotation here in Jacksonville. Those containers, they're carrying everything from electronics to furniture, all those consumer goods inside. With local coverage you can count on in Fort Caroline, I'm Robert Grant, Action News Jack.